देर इज अव ट्रेंड वाइब कोडिंग एंड यू शुड नो इट काइज वट इज अब कोडिंग हाउ एक्सैक्टली यू नीड टू यूज इट and let me show you a very interesting thing this is a framework which is selenium framework which we have generated by only basically discussing with on the chat i have not written a single line of code everything is done by this cursor ai the tool i have just given him the instruction i have just given him the vibes so in this video we are going to understand what is a vibe coding is ai going to replace the test engineer do you have to know a vibe coding or is it important for you as a, in the test automation or not how we are using the vibe coding specially and is the new editors like cursor ai winsor which are basically coming they are going to rule rather than the traditional coding that we used to have it to generate our api automation or web automation so do you have to learn vibe coding or not let's see with this example all right guys very important so what is a vibe coding vibe coding basically means that it is basically familiarized or you can say it is basically made popular by the andre karapati who is an ai expert and who is basically works in tesla vibe coding basically means that whatever the things that you have in your vibe right without using coding and everything if you have no idea what is a coding but if you know the instruction what you want to do you can give the instruction to the editors and nowadays there are multiple editors available for example we have cursor ai we have windsurf we have github copilot with intellij you just give the instructions and they will start coding for you they can create the files they can delete the files they can add the files they can create full fresh framework also in the end because i'm going to show you a live demo also how exactly i have prepared a selenium automation framework from scratch by only giving the instruction verbally or you can say through typing nothing i have done i have not return a single line of code everything i'm going to show you with this okay so the real question before we proceed is is ai going to replace the test automation you know the answer is absolutely no guys i have tried it we have tried it i have tried cursor ai for long duration of a time vibe coding is very important it is important if you know don't know the coding but it is very basic it is good for small projects it is not that uh, what we call a uh, full leverage of the code that you are getting the code that we are generated still by using the intellij the frameworks that we are generating here are still the power they they basically have so whatever the api automation framework for example this that we have generate all these they st still have the powers right whatever this is by the way 11x batch that where we have generally generate all the codes and everything they still have the power which basically is missing in the web coding is ai going to replace the test engineer the answer is absolutely no you are going to be more productive we got more productive so i'll tell you my scenario also in our organization we started adding this cursor ai ai and everything we started a trial people who are basically afraid or coding now they are basically using more to generate the code they are basically increasing their productivity they can basically able to debug their programs they are able to explain the program it can explain the program also right all the things which they are leveraging right now the real question is when to use this in test automation how we are we are using guys nowadays uh, we are not fully using to generate the code because it's a production ready code we have like 11000 12000 test cases and we don't want that okay people should add the code, test cases by using the ai what we want is you can take help from the cursor ai for example i'll tell you also for example suppose you don't understand this code this is the code that you don't understand nowadays what you can do is you can add to chat and you can ask explain me this code so this is kind of things that we basically we are expecting and we are basically telling okay now if you want if you have a production ready code or the code you can basically take an help from ai to get help from this code you can debug it you can add a new test cases also but limited number of it not exactly fully and everything it cannot be fully and everything but yes this is how exactly it is and it will explain you like what is happening in this case get welcome message and everything it has explained everything in this case or this okay so i'm now i'm going to show you with the real example also how i have created this project guys this is by by the way i am using a application which is called as cursor ai everyone so how to install it and everything let me show you if you want to give it a try just give it a try this is cursor ai you just need to download this uh, they will provide you a free credit also go to all downloads you can download whatever you wants they it has a pricing but uh, they will give you a 2000 completions and 50 slow premium request which you can more than enough that you can give it a try and here i have taken the example where i started with a new fresh project you can create a new uh, window just uh, create a new folder and open that project where i have started started to give instructions like a normal chat gpt we give right create a project with maven test ng add a lot report after that i have told him that okay this is the structure of the project i want main folder and java folder i want you to introduce uh, the 
page object model also so they introduced the page object model i told him to introduce the ddt which is data driven testing also so so he introduced the data driven testing i told him to include the apache pui he created the apache pui file from scratch nothing i have to add page object model for base page sample page test page everything he had added for this i have told him to add a jenkins file so that i can run on jenkins same he has added again i try to delete file delete deletion is generally not allowed because it is very scary right and all but it it has given me instruction you can delete by using this i have told him that i now i have a login page and dashboard page which is an automation that i want to do add the page object model he has added the driver manager also with the latest version of selenium 4.29 it has made the driver manager with thread local support which can run on your selenium grid also and multiple thing it has added the listener for screenshot multiple things page visibility explanation functions new dashboard functions updated the function and everything create updated the structure and after the almost 20 minutes of figuring out everything it has generated the framework which can now and can automate and basically run for the one of the website it can automate also so that's the power of the vibe coding now you can understand which is upcoming for you so of course live demo i have shown you also right so how exactly we can use directly we are using especially with intel for example we are using github copilot and everything cursor ai i have recently switched to it where we are using and i am explaining i cannot show you my live code but this is one of the, the this is how exactly we are using we are using it for debugging we are using to explain the code we are using to add new files we are using to add new things improving handing gracefully uh, code reviews and multiple things this is how exactly the vibe coding is basically going to change the test automation also apart from the development i am pretty much sure uh, upcoming thing throughout this year also vibe coding is something which we are going to introduce lot of manual testers especially the people who have a coding fear and everything they are going to switch to automation because of vibe coding because it can help you to generate everything which people lacks core logic and everything right and now it can explain the code it can do multiple things but something which is very very important which i want to highlight coding is still required learning concept of selenium api and everything from scratch is still required as we are doing it okay so this is still important just wanted to announce one thing which is automation new batch which we are starting till the things which i have mentioned in the paragraph right or the road map to become an automation tester learning java api testing selenium from scratch it's still important vibe coding is coming definitely it is coming but these are important vibe coding is good enough it is like a copilot it can help you for to generate something but for complex projects and everything when you have 12000 test kit 10000 kit then you need to switch back to the older one and everything this is my personal view on this this is how we are using it i just wanted to tell you thanks for watching if you need all the resources and everything just check out just comment the resources in the chat hit a like on this new batch is basically starting for automation test of blueprint don't sit guys if you are a manual tester fresher or no it switch to automation i'll see you in the live batch which is getting started thanks for watching link in the description thanks a lot bye bye enjoy stay awesome stay coding and stay and become an automation tester bye bye